Hey everyone, what's up? It's Ellie here. Black Reef is an island that has a bit of a gloomy military history. Though we haven't touched on much of that lore yet, what we do know is that Black Reef is now also the site of a research base, the site of the Eon program. In this Bethesda.net article, we get to hear a little bit about the game from the game's narrative designer Bennett Smith, in which they discuss the source of the visionaries, including ex-visionary cult's powers. They've harnessed the old research equipment on the island and used themselves as anchors for the loop. As long as at least one visionary is alive at the end of the day, the loop persists. They also enjoy enhanced abilities and even superpowers thanks to the devices, called labs and trinkets, the Eon scientists have developed. With the military bunkers, vehicles and gear alongside the research facilities and equipment, there was clearly an organised effort to protect the newfound resource here on Black Reef. A resource that might just barely be understood. A resource that could be devastatingly unstable. We see how this may have come into play with the loop when Juliana and Colt come to realize that something has gone wrong and only they can retain their memories from loop to loop. But enough speculation, let's talk about what we do know, what it is and how it works. One of the many questions we have been asking is if Colt is able to keep the weapons, trinkets and powers he finds to then carry them across loops. After all, why have such awesome weapon skins if we can't bask in their glory for most of the game? And the short answer is, yeah, Colt can, but not right away. At a certain point in the game, Colt will unlock a unique resource named Residuum. Residuum is a mysterious matter that when collected can be used to hold onto weapons, trinkets and powers throughout each loop. This resource is something that can be collected around the map and also regained when lost. For example, when Colt uses his Reprise Slab, a slab that gives him the supernatural ability to rewind time on death twice before permanently resetting the loop, a strange mystical essence will be left behind from when Colt used that slab to escape death. And if Colt gets to it in time, he can then regain that residuum he lost from dying and continue to move forward in that period with the residuum resource to spend. Anything that carries a supernatural energy, like slabs, trinkets, even high tier weapons that may have some sort of supernatural perk, carries residuum. They can be broken down and the residuum within them can be extracted. So even if you don't feel that you need to keep something, you are able to essentially trade it in for this mystical resource that will help you get something you do want instead. There are no traders, shops or any traditional transactions to score new weapons and abilities like there is in Dishonored. Even ammo comes free in dispensers sprinkled around the world. But even with no currency, there is still that aspect of managing resources. Another resource we won't have to stress much over is ability power or mana. In Deathloop, there are three portions of power. When you use an ability, it will eat up a portion of power and that portion will slowly regenerate over time. If you've played Death of the Outsider, it's quite similar to that. Residuum is mysterious. There isn't much known about this substance yet as it ties into the narrative of the game and any more information would probably spoil it for us, but it feels like a relatively simple and manageable resource, and since we essentially have infinite time on the island, there isn't likely going to be any shortage of it. Thank you guys for watching, like the video if you enjoyed, and consider subscribing for more. I'll see you on the next one. Bye!